Hi there. Have you been wrestling with how to effectively use the Gospel Library app in your seminary classroom? Well, you're not alone. With free access to the Gospel Library app, many more of our seminary students are interested in using digital scripture during class. Technology can be a powerful learning tool, but it can also be distracting and even detrimental to a student's ability to learn. And for a lot of teachers, the seemingly never-ending Snapchat notifications and selfies can be overwhelming. In reality, there is no getting around the fact that mobile devices are here to stay. Now, don't be too concerned. Traditional paper scriptures still work as a valuable and important study tool, but the Gospel Library app is an incredible tool that can magnify a student's ability to study the scriptures. Things just tend to become a little more complicated when students are so easily distracted with their mobile devices. This oftentimes leaves the teacher feeling frustrated and confused on what to do in the classroom. Should I only allow paper scriptures? Do I try and use the Gospel Library app? What about both? So here are a few tips that might help. First, what are the advantages and disadvantages to digital and paper formats? How can the teacher ensure success and how can the teacher limit distractions? To begin, it's important to understand how technology influences learning. This is called digital pedagogy. Simply stated, digital pedagogy is the study and use of digital technologies in teaching and learning. And over the years, there have been many studies conducted that show the advantages of using technology in the classroom. For example, technology can enhance student engagement in the learning process. It can place a greater emphasis on creating and production, and it can be a critical tool to enhance the 21st century learner. So, what are some things a teacher can do to ensure success in the classroom? Consider this question. How might a teacher prepare students in the proper use of paper and digital scriptures? In 2015, Robert Cochrane advised to prepare and have safeguards or tasks in place to increase the student's educational productivity. For example, be deliberate and have well-planned learning objectives in place. Instruct students to download specific apps that will be used in class and provide step-by-step -step instructions on how a task or class activity is to be completed. As the old saying goes, the best defense is a good offense. So be optimistic and creative as you work to enhance the learning in your classroom.